All right. Fat girlfriend. Hey, Bill, I'm a girl listener writing in with advice for a guy with a fat girlfriend. Yes. Okay. We had a we had a a a a a male listener. All right. I don't know if he had a man bun. I don't know if he had a flat top. I don't know how progressive he was. I don't know if he was an ally. I don't know if he likes the new rules in NFL football. I don't know if he wants to see more scoring. I don't know what this guy is, but he has a girlfriend that was a little, you know, had some pounds on her. He's like, all right, you know, whatever, we'll get a relationship. Maybe I'll get her out there on the treadmill. But no, she kept eating cupcakes. So he still loves her and he wants to. How do you tell somebody that they're they're not attractive to you because they've eaten so much as a man, as a woman? I know you can fucking do that. You can say that to a guy or his goddamn feelings about how difficult their lives are. Um, You know, and everybody's all brave now if they're a woman and they're fucking out of shape. When reality is, is you're killing yourself. It's not good for you. It's not healthy. And you're not brave. You're being a fucking moron who's in denial. I'm not saying you should fucking hate yourself, but to just pat. Hey, I'm doing heroin. Look at my abs. Hey, I'm eating donuts every fucking day. I've almost closed three out of four of my fucking arteries. Or whatever you call them. Is that what you call them? The things that go on, come out of your heart? The fucking, the intake, outtake hose from the radiator? Yeah, you're not brave. You're, you're fucking in denial. All right? And when somebody calls, tells you that you need to drop some weight, they're, they're helping you prolong your life. All right, you can't make someone care about their weight. That's what this woman says. Because I asked for a woman to come in she said i wish i had better news for him but if his girlfriend doesn't want to lose weight and it sounds like she doesn't then she won't if it's a deal breaker he needs to break up with her and if it's not then he has to get over it oh my god i i I, you know something if you were here right now and i had your permission in writing in in triplicate i would give you a hug all right, one of those hugs where you fucking lean in so only the tops of your shoulders touch the tops of them and you do like a fucking, even your side of your heads don't touch. A, a post me too hug I would give you. Okay, that mindset right there, that mindset right there is what makes you great. That, that right there is everything you need to be successful in life. All right? It fucking, it, that was just that was a, that was perfect. Let me read that again. I wish I had better news for him, but if his girlfriend doesn't want to lose weight and it sounds like she doesn't, she won't. In other words, you can't make somebody, you know, get their shit together. They have to want to get their shit together. Okay, so now that we've solved that, that, that it's not on you to make somebody care about themselves. All right, now you have to deal with the situation. So this is what it is. Okay, and if you can handle it, get over it. If you can't, break up with them. But other than that, shut the fuck up about it. That's it. And I actually think I actually feel for this guy because if he loves her, he's he's going to watch her take 10, 15 years off her fucking life. Um, And he hasn't even knocked her up yet, because that's the other thing. Like with women, you got to give women a pass on at least 20 fucking pounds, 25 pounds. You have to because they have kids, you know. They got kids and they got to deal with the whole chemical fucking thing of that. They can have postpartum and all of that shit. You know what I mean? But as men, you got no fucking excuse. They got P90X out there. They got that rogue fitness. They got all of this shit out there. There's no excuse. As always, fellas, we have no excuse. <laughs> as always, you will be held responsible for your actions. Um. That's amazing. That was an amazing response because I couldn't come up. I, if you haven't been listening, I tried to come up with a, a, a response for it and a, a proper angle, and I could not come up with one. And uh, even the lovely Nia came on, and she listened to it, and she took it personally like I wrote the email to her. But my wife is cool, so when I called around on it, she laughed. Um, but it took this person here. This anonymous person, look at that, not even leaving a name. Didn't want any sort of credit whatsoever. ever. All right, ladies' response to guy with overweight girlfriend. Okay, now this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one to follow up. 
Um, ladies response to guy with overweight girlfriend. Hey, Bill. When I was in my mid twenties, I was dating my long term boyfriend. Uh, I wasn't model skinny when we met, but we were dining out a lot and I had put on some weight. One night we had a really honest conversation that served as a wake up call for me. He was 100% honest and told me he wasn't attracted to me with the extra weight. Was it hard, harsh? Yes. Was it hurtful? Yes. However, I took our conversation seriously and for the, for the first time in my life, I actually thought about my own health and what I was putting into my, into my body, in my body, sorry. I, if, if Nia ever said to me, you've put on weight and I'm not attracted to you, like as she was saying it, I would start putting on my gym clothes. I'm not saying my bottom lip wouldn't be quivering and there wouldn't be tears in my eyes, but I would get my fucking fat, pasty, freckled ass to the nearest goddamn elliptical. Okay? And I would deal with my feelings later. I would immediately go right to the solution, working out. Um, but, but we live in a different time now where it's just where you sit there and you hold somebody's hand right to an early grave. You know, is the hole too deep that we dug that you're going to die in? Would you like some fucking some bubble wrap down in the bottom when you face plant from a major fucking heart attack? Uh, we started working out together and eating better together. We both got in better shape. Win-win. Look at that. Because of his honesty, I realized how important being healthy is. Not, not to mention, it's not fair to you, the fucking person you're with, male or female, to, to let yourself go. Okay? I'm not going to be 100% harsh because I know there's a bunch of emotional reasons that people start eating. So get into therapy Figure that out and get your ass to the gym and take control of your fucking life. The problem with today's, oh my God, I am the old man today. I'll, I'll tell you what else the problem is. The, the fucking Photoshop has to be me <laughs> sitting on my front porch. Um, the problem with all this fucking understanding is you're now... We've gone from going, hey, Tubby, why don't you lay off the cupcakes to, like, calling the person brave for eating cupcakes. And I think there has to be an adjustment somewhere in the middle. Like, even like that Me Too shit. Like, this whole fucking thing had to happen because no one was listening to these women's complaints, right? So then the fucking cork blows off the bottle and then it becomes due process is out the window. The burden of proof is now on the person accused. They have to somehow clear their name where the person who accuses them doesn't have to have any evidence. They just now you just need to adjust it back where now we're going to listen to women and there's going to be due process. That is the safest way to fucking do this shit, right? Adjust it back. The same thing with fat people. You can't just fucking go, ah, you're tough as shit. Hey, lard ass fucking, uh, you know. Go eat a salad. You can't do that. But to go the, the, the entire other way and just say they're brave and they should be proud of their body and start making fucking, you know, car covers into fucking sweatpants, I don't think is another <laughs> is, is a good way to do You're not helping them that way either. Um, all right. So this is great. So he had this painful fucking conversation and she turned this hurt into a positive and now i would think that they're in shape banging each other anyways because of his honesty i realized how important it is to be healthy i started reading more about diet and fitness listening to fitness podcasts cooking us healthy meals and continued to work out educating myself and taking the time to care for myself has in all capital letters changed my life i ended up losing 50 pounds and keeping it off all because he had the courage to tell me his truth. Ugh. Ugh. I, okay. I loved everything until you used that expression. He's living his truth. I'm living my truth. Um, all because he said what the fuck was on his mind. Anyways, and, he, and she said, and I wasn't too sensitive to be able to see my shortcomings and improve on them. You know something? I wish I could send this to anybody trying to get over a fucking problem. That's been confronted. You should have this fucking, you know, stitched into a pillow. 
old fashioned needlepoint or something like this. This is what you got to do. Yo, let me tell you about a story so true. We're showing me style and it's all so cool. It's about a garment torn and frayed. Getting this brand, the story conveyed. Walking down the streets with holes in my teeth. Each rip them seeing a part of me, you see. It ain't about the brand of the label they hold. It's about the journey, the stories it unfolds. In these ragged clothes, I find my voice. A testament to resilience. My choice from the streets to the stage. I rock my style in my tattered shirt. I walk that mile. Ripped and torn, but still I stand in my ragged attire. I command it's not just fabric, it's a statement. I preach in my threadbare garment, I find my reason. From the barrio to the bar, I make my mark. In my worn out jeans, I leave a spark. They may call it rags, but I call it art. In every stitch and tear, I play my part. It's the struggle of the streets, the hustle so real in my tattered jacket. I seal the deal. A symbol of defiance against the status quo. My passion, the pants, I let it show. It's not about the riches or the wealth I lack. In my faded hoodie, I stay on track. It's the heart of the hustle, the grind each day. In my worn out kicks, I find my way. Ripped and torn, but still I stand. In my ragged attire. Command. It's not just fabric, it's a statement I preach. In my threadbare garment, I find my reach. So here's to the ones with the clothes that tear in our patched up attire we have. So let the world see our garments worn. For in our rags, our stories are born. In the language of the streets, we speak. In our torn up clothes, we find our peak. I do. All right, because I'll, I'll, you know, the shit that I'm doing right now with my wife, she fucking came at me basically straight up telling me what a difficult I was to live with. And anybody who listened to me bitching about NFL football after I just watched my team win a game to go to the Super Bowl can only imagine what my wife has to go through. Um, if I'm bitching about that, right? Um, so I decided that I was going to just turn it around other than being like, oh, she, she's being an asshole. Uh, what about the stuff you do? I knew she was right. So, I mean, there's two ways when somebody comes at you. You can be like, fuck you, I'm brave, and I'm just speaking my truth and eating my, my dreams, you know, whatever the fuck it is you're doing. 